you want to check out some professional dumpster diving videos done by a guy that dumpster dives for a living, you came to the right place. The dumpster diving action starts in about two minutes. But you might find the following tidbit of information interesting. Signs like this are just a total waste of time for any uh, business owner or dumpster owner. These are just a waste of time. This is what happens to signs like this. That's not a sign you want to put on a dumpster right there. This is my dumpster. That was my sign. That's my motorcycle. That's where I live. That's, that's my dog right there. If you're having problems with people getting in your garbage and you don't want them there, what you should do is get a real sign, a permanent sign. A sign like that. See how it's bolted on there? That sign lets people know that, you know, it's clear to stay out. Or ask your dumpster company for a dumpster that has a locking mechanism. And for just a few dollars, you can put a lock on it. And that's the kind of padlock you want to get right there. That round kind. Those are really hard to bust. And you get a locking dumpster and put a lock like that on there. It's, it's just end of story. I mean, and, unless you're a person that, you know, gets off on repeatedly, you know, raging on other people. You know, unless you're that kind of person, then just get a locking dumpster and end the story. That's all there is to it. And those two, those two things there will, you know, pretty much end your problems. You know, you won't, you won't have to yell at people repeatedly and put up signs like that that uh, will just get ripped down. I, I, I won't ever rip down a sign like that. But other people will. I can guarantee that. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Ugh. That's the kind of stuff you like to see right there. What do you think? Kind of wet and dirty, so I'm going to shut the camera off. Get that out of there real quick. All right, there's what was in there. That's a nice little load of copper right there. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be about 10 pounds of copper, maybe more. That's hard to tell. No, it's gonna be probably about 15 pounds, maybe. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell without scale. It's got pieces of brass stuck to it too. Like I gotta take the brass off. So it's hard to tell exactly what it weighs. It might be about 10 pounds of copper thereabouts. That's some nice. A couple pounds of brass, at least, I'll cut off of there, and a little bit of, a little bit of nasty pipe. So that, that's that's a real nice score. I, I wish I'd see a lot more like that. It just doesn't get a whole lot better than that right there. Load of copper, and that, all in one day. Got some Gatorade, some Sprite, a box of sugar. And I don't mess with unopened stuff, so look at the date on that jelly. August 11th, 2024. <laughs> I didn't know they made it like that. That's all good stuff. A little bit of Febreze. It's, it's, it's almost empty, but there's some left in there. And that comes in real handy when you got a bunch of cats, so that never hurts. But yeah, I mean, look at this. That's a, almost a full case of those crackers. I mean, that... That's snacks for a couple months right there for me. Just... But the reason why I fired the camera up is over here. Look at that. It's probably nothing, but hopefully it's not anything that's been stolen and ditched. But I'm going to jump in there and have a look either way. Yeah, we got her. Oh, there's, that's full of something. That's, that's definitely full of something. I don't know, this could be good or it could be bad. I don't know what that is. Uh, Takes a cord. More cord, a phone cord. 
Oh, hopefully this isn't. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Hopefully this isn't something that's been stolen. It looks like someone just threw out a bunch of their personal garbage, which is good because I didn't want to find anyone stolen stuff. There's some brass. Yeah, that's, someone just threw out the junk. That's good. We'll take this cord though, that's for sure. That's not bad. That's a nice one. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. Fake Louis Vuitton. Somebody might want that. That's pretty nice. Get that personal stuff. That ain't bad. That's pretty nice, really. I'll take that. empty it's got a cloth in it anyway we'll keep that too though oh, that's a kate spade bag look at that that's not my territory but i think that's pretty valuable isn't it here's the stuff that's out of frame i'm really sorry about that with that gopro on my head getting in that dumpster i remember thinking this isn't going to be anything special so there's no need to check and see if it's in frame or not <laughs> All right, it's Louis Vuitton. It's Kate Spade bag. It's a Ray-Ban case. There's no Ray-Bans in there. Uh, a little Coach Ch uh, case. Uh, this wallet here, and this is further proof that it, it wasn't somebody stealing stuff because they would have taken that out of there. And it was these were just filled with just just you know papers and just stuffed with papers that they were you know just garbage papers and stuff. So. A little phone cord, some earbuds, and this uh, Bakier bag, and it's actually it's actually been quite used quite a bit, but it's still it's not bad. That's one of the pockets is is a little frayed, but you know it's not it's, you know it's nothing bad. It's just it's just used. But this other stuff is just I mean, other stuff you know it's almost like new condition. I think we're gonna have to dump out the stuff. Dump that stuff out and keep that. That's good stuff right there, I think. I don't know a lot about it, but. Let me leave all their personal stuff in here. Oh, that's the worst right there. That's gross. Yeah, I call gross old weeds and. Yuck. <laughs> what was in here? We didn't check that, did we? What's that? Oh, yeah, we did. That's a makeup. That's a makeup bag there. I suppose we better dump that out. Luke. Somebody out there might want that bag. What do you guys think? Some of you ladies might like to have that. Let's see what else we got here. It's not a bad little deal, really. I'm gonna take on it out of here. Some of you ladies might like to have that stuff. I don't really know much about it, but it's in really nice condition, though, so. What kind of bag is that? I better look and see what kind of bag it is. I don't know about that bag. I'll keep that bag too. Penny. Yahtzee. <laughs> that looks like it. I'm going to keep that blue one too. Just in case it's worth something. It's not in the best condition, but I don't know anything about it. Bot Kia, New York. Uh, just in the off chance that's worth money, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to that one because I don't wanna 
look in the comments and have someone tell me it's <laughs> have someone tell me it's worth you know two hundred dollars or something stupid like that <laughs> hold on a second i think that louis vuitton bag might have been real i'm so used to finding fake louis vuitton stuff i just assumed it was fake but but then i realized it was with the kate spade bag which are pretty pricey little bags and this bot kier or boat boat kier whatever it is that, that's that's a pretty expensive brand too so i'm thinking that that louis vuitton might actually have been real all right so i know there's some of you out there that could take one look at that and instantly know if it's real or not and I am not one of those people but I know that there are some of you out there that can tell me right away if that's real or not and I just I'm just so used to finding knockoff fake Louis Vuittons I just I didn't, I didn't even think twice about it being real <laughs> so I'm going to go back to that dumpster and check that out because I, I left at least one little cosmetic bag in there and I didn't look at the label. There might have been another bag too. There's at least one. There might have been two or three. I, I, you know, I just didn't realize what I was dealing with. There could be any product you know, in the world ever made in a dumpster. So that's kind of a wide range of products I could be dealing with. So <laughs> I, I could do this for a hundred years. And still keep learning stuff every day. I mean, that's just that's just how many different products there are out there. Back at that dumpster, and it looks like one bag's been thrown in there on top of it, so that's not too bad. And yeah, it's one, two. I see two. I know there was another one too. Let's. <sighs> <laughs> That's hard to do with a camera in your hand, I'll tell you that much. See, there was this one that had that medical medical stuff in it, and that was nothing. But then there was, oh no, that was just a book. That's nothing. There was this, though, little cosmetic bag. And a lot of you ladies might not like me doing that with that makeup, but... That's probably valuable stuff, huh? <laughs> That's actually new looking. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll hang on to that stuff. That looks like it's brand new. That looks brand new. Uh, okay, I'll hang on to this stuff. And if any lady out there wants that, I'll give it to her for free. I'll just hang on to all this stuff. I don't know what I'm dealing with here at all, so I shouldn't have dumped it out. But I'll hang on to that. When I get home, I'll open it up and uh, get a closer look at it. Those makeup bags turned out to be pretty worn, so I'm just gonna throw them away. And that makeup I thought was new, I think it's actually been used. So I'm just gonna throw it all away. This, this, def <laughs> this definitely is not my my territory so I don't have any idea but I guess used makeup is is gross yeah I assume anyway I'm just gonna throw it out real quick if no one wants it that bag doesn't appear to be a designer bag in any way I don't think I don't know you might recognize that symbol I have no idea But I know makeup's a hot topic on YouTube for dumpster diving. So maybe somebody out there wants that. And I don't know what that is. What's that? On oh, someone's little medicine thing. That's kind of a neat little deal there. I can't believe I missed that earlier. Huh. <laughs> oh, there's that one little bag. That's the bag I was thinking about right here. What is that? Clinique 
Nah, no, it's nothing. It turned out to be nothing. But this still somebody might want that though. And I'll, I'll give all this stuff away for free if you want it. I guess that's it. This is the one I had in mind. Cause I, did, I didn't look at the labels or nothing, you know. But yeah, this Clinique there. So, oh well. It's a wasted trip, but well, actually, that might that <laughs> I've kind of learned that come to learn that that brand new makeup is actually worth a lot of money. So maybe maybe it's not a wasted trip. But either way, I give that makeup away for free because I'm not gonna sell no one some makeup I found in the garbage. So. There's some more pennies right there. Oh, it's a lot more pennies. So if you want that uh, makeup. Just be the first one to comment down below that you want that makeup for free. And uh, I'll list it on my on my website. Uh, eshippity.com And uh, you can just come and pick it up there for free. But you got to pay for shipping though. And shipping off something that light isn't going to be hardly anything. That's disgusting. Get that out of there. But I, it's just hard to pass up these coins because there's no, you know, you don't have to process these or nothing, you know. It's just, it's just money. And you know, a, a penny don't seem like much, but you know, if you pick up a penny every second, that's thirty-six dollars an hour. So <laughs> it seems ridiculous, but I guarantee you it's true. So the whole time I was doing that, I was making about $36 an hour. So it goes from ridiculous to, <laughs> to, to reality. It's even, even more ridiculous, you know. And then you start finding silver ones. Well, not silver, but you know what I mean. All right, that's it. We're out of here. I'll check this other one. I didn't check this other one yet. Ah, that one actually stinks. We don't like stinky cans. I think I should probably keep that black one clean as possible. I got I got a feeling about that. Zip it up. All right, so this night's getting a lot better. I found a Nerf football that belongs out in some field somewhere. I'm just gonna toss it out in the field. <laughs> and uh, some other little knick-knack stuff. But here's the reason why I fired the camera up this time. And I realized just watching that last clip I shot, there's a Taco Bell shirt, look at that brand new Taco Bell shirt. <laughs> I realized watching that last clip I just shot of those purses one of the bad things about not holding the camera in your hand is you, you can't tell if you've got stuff in frame or not. I, I almost totally ruined that last clip. I mean, just on the verge of being ruined, you know. Got a little laptop action going on. Yeah, brand new Taco Bell shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that to a Taco Bell store. Drop that off. They probably like to have that. Let's see what this one looks like before I take it. Hey, Windows 7. That's fairly, oh, the screen's busted. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. The screen's broke. But the good thing about a broken screen is that means the computer itself is probably, probably perfect. Take that home, have a look. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, man, I didn't see that. Take him. Oh. Want to lose out on our one penny's worth of scrap metal? <laughs> that little piece of aluminum never hurts anybody. I keep that away from that Kate Spade bag. Oh.
Actually, let's get a little protection roll for case spade bag. That's gonna work out perfect right there. Yeah, I'll definitely drop that off at a Taco Bell store. Wearing this camera on my head, I just can't tell if I've got stuff in frame or not. So that's actually a big downside. I don't. Maybe I'll get it figured out eventually, but you just kind of got to film and hope the camera hasn't got altered, you know. And it's just it's kind of a pain, really. I like holding it in my hand a lot better, but I don't know. Look at these ceiling fans. <laughs> is, that, is that not the coolest ceiling fan you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Are those not cool or what? Check those things out. I'm tempted to take the blades off there just to for artwork. <laughs> just look at those things. Those are sweet. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. I they can't all be bad. Some of them have to be functional. At least one of them. I mean, I don't know. I just have a hard time scrapping those. <laughs> those are cool. Yahtzee! Looks like some kind of Vizio, I said Vizio on it. Kind of Vizio TV woofer, it would appear. Interesting. Nice Xbox and the, uh, looks like a wireless controller. And the power brick and the AV cable. Yeah. The Xbox might be in working condition. Looks like the plastic cover popped off the front. But that's no big deal. Those come off pretty easy. That, does, that doesn't mean it's damaged. Decent looking clothes down here. Oh, not bad, nothing. I'll just leave those sitting there for someone to find. So that Xbox, that's a 250 gigabyte hard drive. And I put the front back on it, and it looks like it's actually in pretty good shape. I, I'm thinking that one's gonna work. I will, I'll take it home and test it. And this, I already had this piece that doesn't belong there. This Vizio subwoofer is a wireless dude, and I don't have the, I don't have anything I don't have the other end of it to connect it to, so I'm just gonna take that to the scrapyard.